Biomimetics is an area of science that studies and tries to mimic or copy things found in nature and biology. The word comes from combining biology and mimicry. Mimicry is when one thing imitates or copies another. In the previous section, we saw the leaves of a lotus plant zoomed in and said that it's the structure of the leaves which make them repel water. Since this discovery was made, scientists have attempted to copy the lotus leaf to make normal objects just as water repellent. Using different scientific methods, chemists have created surfaces which work in a similar way. Here are computer animations of water bouncing off a lotus leaf, followed by a man-made surface which copies the leaf. We see that the water bounces off the man-made surface in a similar way to the leaf. Scientists have tried to copy the structure of this surface, which we see zoomed in hundreds of times. This is the skin of a fish. Can you guess which fish this is from? These are the scales from the skin of a great white shark. The scales are made from a similar material to teeth. The shape of the scales help the shark to swim through the water faster. Scientists can copy the idea behind the shark skin and use it to improve things like swimming costumes to help swimmers go faster. Scientists have also studied this animal, which we see close up. A duck's feather is made up of tiny hairs. Each hair has bumps and ridges making them rough. The roughness of the hairs, as well as the oily substance that they make to clean themselves, mean that the feathers repel water. This keeps the duck dry when it leaves the water and not wet and cold. This is also where the phrase, like water off a duck's back, originates. This reptile has specially designed feet which allow it to climb up slippery surfaces. Can you guess what it is? It is a gecko. Here we see a dwarf yellow-headed gecko climbing a tree. The ridges we see on the bottom of the gecko's toes are covered in billions of hairs which we can't see. This makes geckos one of the hairiest animals in the world. When a gecko climbs up a wall, each of the billions of hairs on its toes provides a small attractive force pulling it to the surface. When these billions of tiny attractive forces are added together, the gecko's toes provide enough force to stick it to a surface, allowing the gecko to climb up vertical walls and even upside down. In this section we have defined biomimetics and seen how we use biomimetics to copy the shapes and structures of different surfaces found in nature. By doing this, we can recreate the special properties of the plants and animals we look at, like the super water repellency of a lotus leaf or the speed of a shark through the water because of the scales on its skin.